Yo, what is up guys? This is one from Cosmic Fury and um, so yeah, I've uh, been really busy these past few days and um, there has been some stuff which is circulating on my Facebook which is, uh, I'm referring to the Wonder Woman um, some first footage um, stuff um, I've been ref refraining myself to watch it while I was um, outside and um, since I have time now, I'm gonna do a reaction to what actually is within the, the footage. So, alright, let's get to it! Alright, here we go! Wonder Woman's like one of the greatest superheroes Jump out there. Jump But people don't know Green Lantern. like they know Superman's yeah. origin and Batman's origin. True. And so what they we need want to do make a new Green Lantern really movie. Tell people who she is, where she comes from, and why she does what she does. And we've never seen mm -hmm. her on film before. She comes from a Greek mythology. Ooh, nice. She was born on this island of Amazon. It's called Themyscira. We're gonna see her coming of age, the entire history, what's her mission. And these Amazons were once created to protect man's world, but they since abandoned it. And Diana is asking constantly, Ooh. why don't we go do what we were created to do and protect man? And they say, because they're not worth it. And this takes her on a journey into the our settings world. Really is... Telling a story like Steve this Trevor. now is pivotal like Chris Pine. important. The story of a very powerful woman. The most friend zone guy in the, the Wonder Woman in the DC franchise. Universe. She has strength and speed, and she's been training her whole life for war. Ah, looks good. Wonder Woman, who's been around for 75 years. Feminist cultural icon. She stands for equality, and that's really important. I think that's why people love the character. The greatest thing about Wonder Woman is how good and kind and loving she is, yet none of that negates any of her power. Well, that's it. Oh man. Okay, so I wish that could have been longer. Um. Okay, obviously the footage that I got is uh, a snippet. Um, basically, that's what it is. Uh, if not, it could have been a longer kind of like featurette, I guess. Um. So yeah, it's exciting to see uh, uh, Jeff Johns on. Um, on TV because I really love his um, Green Lantern stuff. I mean, uh, the thing about that, I mean, okay, Green Lantern, that's a whole uh, different story for another time, so I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna elaborate on that. But we're gonna talk about Wonder Woman. So, um, let's see. The setting of what I just saw is really nice. So, if it's a feature, it, I guess it's. This is the part where I'm a bit confused because I have it to before watching this I did not go into reading of like you know the the, the, the info and, and whatnot. So I'm not really sure if this is entirely from uh, Batman vs Superman or is it entirely uh, a solo Wonder Woman movie which is probably gonna be in 2017 I think. Um, so yeah. Uh, what else? I mean, it's. Um, it's always nice to see a female um, superhero who's like really strong, who's like who has this drive to you know like save humanity kind of thing. So I'm I'm, I'm into that kind of thing. So seeing um, Gal Gadot um, in this um, version of Wonder Woman, it's uh, I guess people were skeptical at first about like how she's gonna like do well as Wonder Woman because like um, I don't know maybe visually people were like trying to get somebody who's like more beefy or something I don't know uh, at the time it was kind of like a nonsensical thing you know trying to get the right actress for Wonder Woman but I think from what I've seen um, I think she's doing pretty good at the moment right now so again the movie has to be out for me to actually make a real um, judgment or, or critique on whether it's um, she's uh, uh, the right person for Wonder Woman but so far the setting and the props the costume everything everything is working really really well and that that shield and that lasso I mean it's one of those iconic stuff that Wonder Woman always carries along with her uh, it's, it's really nice to see that coming together and seeing in a movie and um, there was a scene where 
he was going against some um, soldiers. I assume with those um, uniforms, those are uh, Nazi soldiers. So um, I don't know. Uh, it could be that she traveled. I mean, I don't know. I'm not sure which timeline she is supposed to be fighting in within that scene. It could be I don't know. So that remains to be seen. I can't really speculate. I mean, I don't want to put time travel. Is that impossible? Um, okay. So pretty much, I think that feature it. Um, there's a longer version of it which is not out yet. Um, so yeah, seeing Jeff Johns, Kevin Smith, trying to pull his breath and not to get all excited about Wonder Woman, uh, which is pretty funny. Um, I guess it's um, it's about time that we have more women um, portraying in superhero movies. So hopefully with Wonder Woman, there's gonna be like I mean Marvel has Black Widow, but there's yet to be a confirmed solo uh, Black Widow movie. So right now DC is doing really well to push that that um, Wonder Woman solo movie. I guess by now. So I mean, it's a, it's an all boys kind of thing right now. So it's like I said, it's really nice to see more ladies, you know, doing the superhero stuff and you know being strong and just leading the pack and stuff like that. I mean, she on in the comic she has the power levels to actually smack the hell out of um, Superman. So it's 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 nice to see how that comes together. And um, so yeah, pretty much it's it's not a lot. It's more on like, you know, Jeff Jones uh, talking with Kevin Smith and a few snippets um, on his featurette. So it ended abruptly, so I, I, I can't really say uh, much about it. So I guess I'm getting more excited with the movie releases um, this year. I mean, we got Batman vs. Superman, we got um, Suicide Squad, um, we got Deadpool, and uh, a bunch of like movies and then like you know as a fan of comics and games and and all this movie stuff you know it, it's an exciting year once again um the anticipation is it's it's real it's really really real um so yeah pretty much uh, i think i'm gonna come to an end to this video so if there's any like um videos um, movie trailers or anything you want me to see and react to just uh, let me know down in the comments so I'm one from Cosmic Fury, um, so like, comment and subscribe, cheers.